Hello everybody, it is Talia back once again with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla reaction video. The final reaction video, probably my final Valhalla video for the year. There'll obviously be the spoiler cast with the Four Pillars coming early January. Um, and my review will come in probably the first week or so of January. Um, but I'm going to have like the week of Christmas off and spend time with my family uh, and my loved ones. So... I guess this will probably be the last video before then. I just wanted to get that out, finish Valhalla off, get all the hate comments out of the way. Um, the barrage of um, of anger and rage has been very enjoyable over the past um, couple of days, so I've enjoyed that personally. Um, um, and here we are now in Hamptonshire. Um, we're going to finish off the final like epilogue Hamptonshire arc along with the Order of the Ancients arc in one go, because I've done every one in the Order of the Ancients menu except the father, the final target, which I've been told is attached to the epilogue storyline. So we're going to get it all done at once and, and finish this off. So um, let's see what happens. Um, here we go. Here we are, getting ready for the final battle in Wessex. Are these all our allies here? We all... They came from all over England. Ah, uh, they're all gonna die. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Does anyone else feel like the end of Black Flag right now? So we're looking at these people that are dead. Except these guys aren't dead yet. Well, Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Alfred is um gotta be the father, right? Advance. Be on the lookout for I don't buy any lights. of this like trying to twist my arm with the whole Oh No, the order's trying to kill Alfred. Fuck that. It's all the fucking plot. This has got to be a trap. This is barely any guards, and the king of all of Wessex is here. I don't buy for a second that Alfred's here. Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Abel, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wareham? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone. Yeah, obviously. And this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine. Trap some wasps. I guess I'll fight this guy. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. Well, you are. By my death, my lord you are. may live. Oh. Well, I mean, fuck it. I'll kill everyone. It's a trap. I know it's a fucking trap. Soma. This is definitely a black flag moment. Oh, well, Summer's fucking dead. Summer is fucked. It's a pretty epic death, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is definitely a Blackbeard homage for sure. Fuck you guys. Not that I really care about it that much, but whatever. Them. Go away. They will 
Which one's hurt? Oh, fuck's sake. Of course it is. Oh, no. No, mate. You're fine. You're so fine. Onwald, listen to me. You survived oh no, villain from the last kingdom. You can't die. Do let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Avon. But maybe I will sit beside my father soon. And will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and until you no man ever had a worthier son. Oh god, that's sad. That actually is sad. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. Well, we knew this was coming. I felt the black flag vibes coming. This is never ending. Holy shit. I am full of arrows right now. Well, fuck me. That didn't go to plan at all. There's a bigger battle coming. Friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They live, they die. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Well, Eivor knows what's next and there's nothing. There's no Valhalla. There's nothing. Victory is ours. So everyone's leaving. We haven't taken Wessex. Alfred still lives. What the fuck's everyone leaving for? England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Unwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. So that arc's done, but what happens to the Order of Ancients? Hytham. Something for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest. A village called Athelney. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassin feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. Who is this man? The poor fellow soldier. Time to finish this. A marshland village. Will it be Alfred again hiding out here? After he ran off. Soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do, I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. It is Alfred, I knew it. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then, I'll leave you to this. When if you need me, I'll be doing the washing Alfred up next door. Alfred hid in the marshlands. 
Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You. I knew it. Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master. And I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane, what led to that demise? You are Norse, are you not? You have a good year. I owe you my thanks, Abel. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. I wonder what order Alfred's talking about. But I feel there's more to be revealed. With that floating key. <laughs> Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. <sighs> Alfred's study. Should be somewhere back here, surely. This is where we were brought to him last time. The Order of the Ancients argues for a hierarchy that flies in the face of God's purpose. They view men and women as debased and corrupt, born of evil intent, yet they worship men they believe were their makers, akin to a hammer loving the nail. They cannot see outside their own hermetic system. They are not wrong to believe that there must be order in the world for peace to flourish, but they are wrong that the source of this order, man was made in the image of God. God is the source of the universe's order, therefore man need to appeal only to God for guidance. In a strange irony, I'm grateful for the Danes and their invasion of Northumbria. My title should have gone to Ale. Ayala. I will use it to destroy what I loathe so deeply about the sickening order and start afresh. Goodwin is with me. As are men on continent. I will soon find others. The Order often blesses their pagan creators, what they call the Father of Understanding, the Mother of Wisdom, the Sacred Voice. These are vile blasphemies. There is only one Father of Understanding. He is the Lord above. He is the Order incarnate. Therefore, may the Father of Understanding be this and naught else, the invisible hand that plucks harmony from the strings of universe. Nothing more. Let all remaining pagan blasphemies wither into dust. Henceforth, I am to improve our lot by harmonizing the average man with the order of the universe, to walk him down the quiet road, to lead him to safe and sober thoughts, to quiet his mind and cool his impassionate heart, be he God-fearing or God-blessed, this new order will encompass all and seek to improve man by aligning his needs with the ebb and flow of nature itself. This is my hope. This is my vow. Amen. So Alfred is pretty much taking the views of the Order of the Ancients and re-starting it anew 
as what the belief system is of the Templars. And ravings, not unlike full case the These letters are the beginning of the belief system of the Knights Templar. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. The assassins helped destroy the Order of the Ancients. But all destroying the Order of the Ancients has done is birth a new order to replace it. That of the Knights Templar. That of the Knights Templar. Ah. The old philosophy of peace and order. When you destroy one order, a new one takes its place. This is the interesting stuff I enjoy. This is what I'm talking about. I liked that. Now to go back to Hytham and figure out what the fuck Abel was doing. Better not join the fucking hidden ones. Better not do it. Because if he was to join the hidden ones, he may as well have fucking done it at the start of the game. There's no point doing it this late. Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You will find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did. But they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trampled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title and the duty he had inherited and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there. And you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome, but to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements it's not a life for me, but know this, I would give my life in a moment for those I love and who love me in return. All here, including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed. Right, well, I certainly agree with the fact that Eivor doesn't fit the Hidden Ones and um, isn't the right character, but... Hytham, what a great fucking guy he is. Love him, that's cool. And, um, fucking Eivor. This is why his just views don't align with mine as the player. It's frustrating. Oh, frustrating. Look at you, Dewey. But that's the last of it. Not really any climax or big ending moment. It's just a not even cutscene, just a dialogue exchange between Hytham and Eivor. Or he's offered to join the Hidden Ones and he says no, in which case I agree with that. Because if he joined the Hidden Ones at the end, I'm like, well, why wasn't he just a Hidden One the whole time? In which case, we're playing as a Viking the whole game. In which case, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed no matter what, because we're at the end of the game and he's not a Hidden One. So I'm already annoyed even if he joined him at the end. It doesn't matter if we join him at the end or not. This wasn't a game where I had to play as an Assassin, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted was to play as an assassin. We've had another Assassin's Creed game once again where we do not play as an assassin. Or anyone that follows the creed. Or see the philosophical debates between the Templars and the Assassins. And I don't care whether that translates to modern day because fuck the modern day. I don't give a shit about it anyway. I care about the ancestor stories. And if they do happen to coexist, that's great and all. But right now it doesn't. You've got this Norse Viking in England, that all he really knows and cares about is glory and his saga and taking over England. And meanwhile, you've got Bassam, or Loki, who's 
now in a fucking Isu temple and he's going to end up waking up 1200 years from now to help his wife Alethea. And Ava has no fucking clue. Ava doesn't know what the fuck's going on. We travel to all these bureaus. All these bureaus to find out about the hidden ones. Ava can't read the language. He doesn't know what's going on. All these things that I care about as the player, the hidden ones, the philosophy, the Templars, the assassins, the hidden ones, the Order of the Ancients, Eivor doesn't understand a fucking thing about it, and that's why he's like, no, nah, I'm gonna stick to fucking being a Viking. Okay then, mate. You're not the character I want to play as. You're not what I'm looking for when I buy a title that is Assassin's Creed. What creed? What assassin? Once again, I ask the question, what creed? What assassin? Hartham offered you the creed. He goes, let me teach you the creed. I'm like, oh yeah, the creed. That's in the game. And the main character playing as goes, nah. Nah. And you know what I go to Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Nah. Nah. 